Hi, in this video, I'm going to share with you how to call others' procedure. Now, this, let's say you have a, a main job procedure. So, I call it the dot debug dot print, and all I do is just taking the two values and add up together and print it out. So, I have here three and four. So, when I run this code, it shows my immediate windows first one is three and there are seven so I can break this one item into another procedure now, the way to do that is just right here sub well with the name right so provided this is not a keyword so I just cut this and put it here so all I to do is asking the main job to call this at add sub procedure and that's all right and it will do the same job right as you can see here so if I use the debug mode right I can step into right? so I can just call it by pressing the F8 key itself right so you can see that I'm going to this line now I'm in the add I'm about to call this add sub procedure and I press F8 now notice that it goes into another procedure, right? So right here, I print this out. You can see that now it's finishing the sub procedure, and notice that it returns back to whichever call them, and continue with the rest. And that is how we use a procedure. Now interesting thing is that the procedure the sub procedure can accept arguments. So I can just put there input A as or uh, integer and input B as integer and I can just call this right so so right here I have O oh, as so there are some Okay, so doing this coding here, right? Input B seems is not acceptable, so I can use the input X and Y to represent that. So input X, and I just put here input X and input Y, right? So, so the way I call these, right, is now I'm passing a value into the argument. So I can pass in one, then comma two and that will do right so and i and i run the code it will give me the same data but now i can also do this the re, the next one i can just put the add three four okay so i can just run this code you can see that here so i'm passing this value here now if i would have put a a bracket here right then I'll cause an error because I have a parenthesis if you have a parenthesis you need to use the call statements and that is some of the rules that you want to observe right the remain will be the same and that's it right this is how you call a procedure from another procedure and also passing variables oh puzzles variables oh, values into another procedure by this method and thanks for watching